Hi, I'm Discipline Dave, where I put the technique in your physique. And today, we're gonna work out our chest only using resistance bands. This workout is designed to develop and build muscle only using bands. Now, in order for that to happen, you really need to pay attention to the technique and form. I'm gonna be going over how to stand, how things should feel, how the muscles should be contracted in order to really build that chest. Now, in order to do this properly, you need to be paying attention to the technique that I'm gonna be speaking about during each exercise. Now, the bands I'm using today are by Body Elastic Bands. These are some of my favorite bands to use because they have anti-snap technology, so you don't have to worry about a band popping on you during your workout. This is my one year update review video. Go ahead and check that out if you're in the market for looking for some bands to use for the workout. Now you don't need these bands in order to complete the workout, but I do highly recommend these bands because these are some of the best quality bands that I've used before. And like I said, it has that anti-snap technology. Now there will be one workout where I use the Body Elastics Curl Bar. You don't necessarily need the curl bar to do this exercise, but this is something that I really like because it opens up a lot of other exercises and makes it easier to do ones that you're already doing. I will show an alternative if you just have the bands with the handles so that everyone can complete this exercise. Oh, and I almost forgot. I will be using the Ultra Door Anchor by Body Elastics. This is something that you can put on your door to give you multiple anchor points so that you don't have to keep moving the anchor point in different positions of the door. I have a link in the description for everything here if you want to go ahead and purchase those. Again, on this one, you do not need to have this to complete the workout. You can use a standard door anchor, but this makes things a whole lot easier. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and begin the workout. All right, so we're just going to begin with a little bit of a warm up to get our chest ready to really work out. If you don't want to do the warm up because there's some different theories about that, you can go ahead and skip it. I'll have chapters below, but let's go ahead and begin right now with some chest flies. OK, and we just want to feel that motion. All right. Just feel it just like that. All right. So we're coming wide and in. Just like that. OK, so we've got like a press and a cross press and a cross just feeling that feeling our muscles contract getting nice and warmed up slow and control okay nice and just warmed up okay and then I just want you to hold it and squeeze okay just hold it hold it feel that contraction because when we actually do the rep that we want to do, I want you to feel that contraction at the end and release. Now we're going to go ahead and swap. This is what I like about the door anchor. It makes everything easier. All right. So I'm swapping this out here with a 23 pound van. And we're going to see how this feels for us. All right. This is like an in between our warm up and our real set. All right, this gets us ready to feel the actual set where we're gonna really maximize that strength there, okay? So we're gonna go, it's like that, just like the other one. So we're gonna press and cross, just like that, okay? Press and cross. And when you come up at the top, I want you to just hold it there for a second, okay? Just hold it back. I want you to get about 10 to 12 reps into this. All right. Now I'm telling you, it says 23 pounds on here with bands. That resistance is linear. So as you stretch it, it can get stronger. So that's what I like about bands. As you come to the, the peak of your contraction, it gets tougher. All right. So now we're going to put on the big boy. All right. See, this is a lot thicker. So we're going to go with our 30 pound. And for me, just adding five more pounds of resistance bands is that is like adding 20 pounds on weights. Here we go. So we're out. Oh yeah. Okay. I want you to feel that stretch first. Okay. Feel that stretch. All right. Get your feet set. And now we're going to push woo, and cross. There we go. 
There we go. Now don't rock your body. You want your feet and everything in a stable position. And I want you to notice when I'm coming to the end, crossing my hands, okay? And another little thought you can have is you're trying to put your biceps together. And another thought is that I want you to imagine that a pencil is in the middle of your chest and you're trying to crush that pencil. There we go. And then when we get to the end of our rep range and it's getting tough, I want you to hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. And let it go back, okay? All right. Okay, so we're right back at it here. All right. We're with our, our heavier resistance. And we're going to push and cross. Woo. If you don't get stable here, just step back a little bit. Make sure you're stable. Press and cross. And we're just going to do our first five real quick, okay? And at five, we're going to change it up. All right. Now, when we get to five, what I want you to do is hold it for five seconds. All right. Then I want you to come back. Now we're gonna bust out five real quick. Yeah, quickly. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. All right. There we go. So on this next set, this is gonna be very important because we're gonna do something that scares a lot of people. And a lot of times people get scared when they don't have a number as far as rep range. I want you to continue going until it breaks form, all right? So remember our form. We've been doing it for the first two sets. We're getting back here and we're squeezing. Cross, squeeze. Let's go at a faster pace, all right? And we're gonna keep going until failure. There we go. Keep going. All right. This is how we build muscle with bands. We have to push ourselves, okay? We're gonna have to keep going. Don't start swinging that body like this, okay? Keep that form until the point where you think you can't keep that form. I want you to just hold it a little bit while longer. Woo! And release. There we go. If you need some water for that next set, I completely understand. So now we're gonna move the band just a little bit further down so we can get ready to do this at an incline. You can do it with the ultra door anchor or if you have a regular door stopper at home, just put it a little bit below the doorknob. Okay, with the incline press, the good thing about it is, is that this is the part that gives you that lift in the chest. So you ever see anybody with one of those like t-shirts on, they got the little meat right here, up here at the top, that's where this is gonna help you out in, okay? So, the key is going to be position. Feet at a staggered stance, chest out, and then we're gonna come up just like that, and squeeze. Now, breathing is very important. I'm doing a lot of talking right now, but if you're at home, you're probably listening to music. You're probably not talking. Well, here, I want you to focus on inhale, exhale, okay? I'm inhaling and I'm exhaling. This is gonna give you a little energy boost. Ah, if you do the exhale, at the peak contraction. Sorry if you got headphones on, I'm killing you right now with the breathing. But I wanna make sure that you understand this is very important because we're trying to work out our chest, not our lungs. So you wanna breathe because if you hold your breath, you're actually not using your full strength potential. All right. So if you're enjoying the workout so far, I would really appreciate it if you hit that like button. 
it lets me know that you want to see more workouts like this. So that last set was about breathing. So we're going to focus a little bit more on this technique again. So I already know about the staggered stance. We already know about keeping that chest out. Okay. Now this is the upper chest. So this is where we want to feel it when we're squeezing. All right. That's where we want to feel it. People want to know what angle should I go up? Should I come up more up forward or more down low? It's more about the feel. Okay. We're feeling to make sure we're squeezing right there. If you don't feel it in that upper chest, then there's something going wrong. And if there's something going wrong, you're not feeling it in that upper chest. Leave a comment. Let me know what's going on. I'll see if I can provide any help. All right. And we're coming up and we're squeezing right here. Squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. All right. Now, while we're resting right now on this break, I was watching a uh, interview with Arnold Schwarzenegger and he said that he worked out with a lot of people every day, put in the same amount of time in the exercises. But the difference was the focus, the focus on the muscle and the focus of the workout. So with that said, focus on the muscle that you're trying to develop. If you're not feeling it there, something's wrong. If you're not, leave a comment, as I said before, so I can make sure I can do what I can to help you get the results that you wanna get. Now, in order to fully develop this muscle, we're just gonna go ahead and maximize that last set there. So we're gonna do this one until failure. And don't focus on, I have to do this many or match what I'm doing. You wanna do your personal best, okay? So just keep going. If your personal pet best is three reps, that's fine. If it's four, that's fine. I do it all the time. But what I want you to do is feel the muscle you're contracting, stay in form, <sighs> making sure that every rep counts. And if you get to the point where you're like this, hold it, hold it, hold it, and release. Now that was an effective set. Now this next one, this is my favorite one. Because this one, I want you to think about posing, flexing your guns. That's right. But we're going to flex our chest. Now this right here, you can normally do at a bit of a heavier resistance. But I'm going to try this one first. If I feel I need to go heavier, then I'm going to go ahead and put on the heavier bands. All right. This is what I like about the body elastic ones. You don't have to attach all these bands on one little carabiner hook because especially with their warrior set, um, I'll have a link to those in the description. That's what I'm using today. They give you super heavy resistance bands so you don't have to attach all these things and then things can go wrong with multiple metal connectors or anything like that. Okay, enough of the commercial. Let's get to the workout. All right, so we're putting it up at one level up if, with the ultra door anchor. If you have a regular one, just put it at the top of your door. And this time we're gonna go down with the press, but I want you to think about this, okay? Ah, see that pose you're doing? That flex pose, ah, I want you to think about that. And as you're thinking about that, I want you to feel that lower portion of your pecs, okay? Ah, just like that, yeah, ah, show me, okay? Yeah. I think on this next one, I'm gonna go up a little bit, all right? So if you find it kind of light, a good little pro tip that you wanna do is, hold it about every five increments, hold it and squeeze. That tension right there is gonna make this lighter band tougher, just holding that, okay? Now we're gonna come up slowly, and then we're gonna pump out a couple of more. Here we go, feeling it, feeling the stretch wide, coming down just like that ah all right and we're holding it and we're holding it yeah yeah there we go holding it back up let's pump out a little bit more five more and here we go and we're holding it ah. just like that 
letting go. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we want to think about this, all right? If it's too light, we're going to do that exercise of holding it. Five more, hold in again, and we're gonna do that until it gets to the failure point or when we break form. But on your next set, I want you to go up if that happens, all right? It's time to go up and wait. More resistance. <laughs> yeah, you see how thick this is? This is a thick band. This is a 40 pound band, but I'm telling you, it feels like a hundred. So we got our heavy resistance here. All right, we're gonna get in position. You can tell these got a lot of resistance. It's not letting me come that much forward. All right, so we got our heavy resistance here. Same thing, down, whoo, down, whoo. Okay, all right, this is some serious resistance. I'm gonna step back a little bit here, okay? Down, oh, there we go, all right. There we go. All right. So we're feeling that contraction in the chest. Ooh. I'm telling you, if there's people out there who say you can't build muscle with bands, um, come do this workout. Get some real resistance and try this, okay? If you believe that you can build muscle with bands, go ahead and hit that like button. I'm telling you, man, this is where it's at. All right, here we go. Coming down, squeezing. Ah, going to our last rep here that I'm holding, I'm holding, I'm holding. Ooh, this right here, this 40 pound from the Warrior set, this one's a monster. I think we need to do a challenge out there for people who don't believe in bands. I wanna see if you can get past 15 reps with one of these. If you're not a believer yet, if you're not a believer that you can build muscle with bands, first of all, why are you watching this video? <laughs> and if you are and you just want to tell me how wrong I am, let me know in the comments. I welcome all opinions and stuff. Let's have a healthy debate. Let's see, let's see what you have to say. Okay, here we go, here we go. All right. So, with your heavier resistance, chest out, coming down, feeling those muscle fibers from the lower portion of the chest. We're doing our pose, ah. Holding at the end of our pose for one to two seconds. All right, now pick up the pace a little bit. I want you to feel everything here. And we're going until failure. There we go. Pushing through. I think I got one more in me. And we're holding, we're holding, we're holding, we're holding, we're holding. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. And another thing for you people out there, don't make fun of my faces. That's what I do. Now on this next exercise, I'll be using the body elastic curl bar. Now for me, it makes it so that I can feel this in my chest a lot more because of the angle of the grips, but you can still do this and have it be effective with handles. My preference is to use the curl bar, but I'm gonna show you both ways and I'll make sure that I'll leave something here in the corner here on a video on how to use it with the one with just handles. All right, so I have my curl bar attach the two anchors of the Body Elastics Ultra Door Anchor, okay? And what I'm gonna do is, these are my hands for my grips here. I'm coming up just like this, like right under leaf, okay? Just like that. All right, yeah. So it's like I'm scooping under and I'm Squeezing right here with the chest. Yeah. All right. So I have a really light band here. All right. I could probably go up one more on this. But we're just going to make sure we get up. And remember how I told you before when it's light, hold it, hold it, squeeze. 
Then we're coming down, and then we're gonna pump out five more. All right, we're gonna hold it, hold it, because the key to developing muscle is, if it's too light, we're gonna go ahead and increase the reps, or you increase the weight. So, we're increasing the reps. All right, and bringing it down. Okay, on this next set, I just decided to use it with the handle because I don't want people out there feeling left out, okay? I'm a man of the people. I just want to make sure that you know how to do it with the handles also. So if you got that door anchor at home, just put it at the bottom here. And there you're going to have both your hands out like this, but keep them kind of close to your side. And we're going to come up and just squeeze right there at the top of the chest. Just like that, okay? Yeah. Squeeze at the top. And we're coming back, just feeling it, squeezing at the top. Here we go. Scooping up and see my arms here, they're slightly bent, okay? But then we're coming up and we're squeezing right here. And it should be getting more difficult as you come up to the top. That's the point of bands, gives you that tension all the way through. And then I want you to come up to the point and just hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. And let it go, just like that. Now on this next exercise with the curl bar, I went ahead and used the center anchor point. That's what I like about the curl bar, because you can do both sides or you can do an anchor point here in the middle. And I'm using a grip that's just a little bit closer here. All right, I have the band in between my legs on the bottom of the, uh, the door anchor here and we're coming up just like that and we're squeezing that chest nice and slowly yeah there we go coming up squeeze and holding there we go just like that Ooh. and with the light band doubling you can really feel that tension my hands are in an underneath grip. And when I come up, I'm squeezing that chest. Ooh. Keeping my legs stable. My body's not rocking. Squeezing and holding. And then after you're done with that, I want you to go ahead and click this video so you can do another workout. And if you're looking at getting some good quality bands, Go ahead and check out this video of my one year update with the Body Elastic Bands. <laughs>